Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here, welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. Today we have got a ridiculously overpowered squad butter for about 25,000 coins on the Xbox and on the PlayStation it's around about 45 to 50,000 coins, but it is so worth it. It is an unbelievably strong squad, like, it's crazy. I cannot wait to get into some gameplay and have a bit of a chat about other players and why I picked them into the team. Now, before we get started, if you're looking for a place to get some coins, check the link in the description for the fifashop.co.uk, a really awesome website. And if you use the code TOBY10, you get a discount off every single one of your orders, which is really cool. And this team is just, it's so good. So check and goal, very, very solid goalkeeper. A lot of people really enjoy having check in between the sticks. He's just generally very overall and all-rounded. He's a good keeper. I like him. Then we've got Naldo, six foot six. He's an absolute tank and don't let his attacking work great kind of put you off a little bit because it doesn't make a difference at all. I did not notice him attacking whatsoever. It was really, really good and I think he got a couple of headers for me. Then we have got Gary Cahill, one of my favourite underused defenders, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't really see many people using Gary Cahill in teams and I think he's genuinely one of the strongest centre-backs in the game. He's really good. Look at Clichy at left-back, a very, very strong left-back, probably one of the best in the BPL, just simply because he's so fast. He's always there when you need him as well. I mean, he's on the opposing team. My God, is he annoying. He's just always against you. But in your team, he's pretty, pretty good. So Ramirez at CDM, a very solid centre defensive mid. Got pretty much all the stats that you need. Decent passing, great pace, awesome heading and defending. He's actually got a really good shot on him. Like, I'll show you one of the clips. Now, two of the clips I completely forgot to record because... It's been a long day, it's been a really long busy day and I just completely forgot to record one of the games so there'll be like instant replay footage, you'll see, you'll see in the in the clips. But then we've got Luis Gustavo, definitely my favourite CDM, he's just, he's so good, he is literally perfect in the CDM spot, he's just, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I really don't know what it is, he's just very all round and he's very very good in that spot. Then we've got Hernanes, now I really really like Hernanes and in this like central role I find that the central role in a 4-2-3-1 it's it's good because you don't have to have a ton of pace in that position you can have like really really good shooting five star weak foot as well and great passing then we've got Di Natale now Di Natale actually kind of works as more of a winger or a striker like he's really really up front really up front he's always attacking and you can cut inside very very nicely then we have got Honda linking up nicely with our striker six foot very tall team this and it's good because that's exactly what i like great work rates again it kind of acts like a winger or a striker 82 pace 81 shooting fantastic passing decent heading and awesome dribbling and then we come up to the final player in the team and that is going to be balotelli i hadn't used balotelli in a long long time and i forgot how damn overpowered balotelli is like he just shrugs people off the ball his outside of the foot shot is crazy good He's just so, so strong and his finishing is actually sublime. It is really good. If you haven't used him for some reason, definitely pick up this team. It's so, so good. It's also got like this little symmetry thing going on. All the links are pretty much exactly the same. We've got like strong links, center backs to CDMs, and then we've got like a little triangle up top. It's cool. A really, really awesome team. So now that we're into some gameplay, let's have a little bit of a chat about the team. Now, crossing this team with Clichy or Ramirez. Pretty much anyone on that left hand side is so so good. Hernanez is crossing as well is really good. So that's an option. Over the top three balls to Balotelli are stupidly overpowered. So if you want to do that, you're more than welcome to. And I think this formation kind of opens itself up to that because it is quite narrow and you do kind of have these sort of behind the striker, they're kind of like wingers and you do have them to just thread the ball over to Balotelli. And I'm not going to lie, it does work pretty well. The over the top three balls is very, very good. And these are the instant replay goals. I'm really sorry that I had to get these. But I thought I'd them because they're not bad. They're pretty decent goals. And I just completely forgot to press the record button. I looked at the end of the game and I was like, wow. Wow, what have I done? <laughs> Couldn't believe it. But that is an amazing strike from Balotelli. He literally scored all my goals. I'm not even kidding. He literally scored all of them except for about three. It's unbelievable how good he is i'm giving this team a massive 10 out of 10 i can't think of any reasons not to because it's just perfect like i was trying to think of some faults for it, like some problems and the only ones that i could find were that when people scored against me it was pretty much my fault so i can't really blame the team for that it was literally just me defending poorly so the team its defense is amazing the midfield is perfect with the cdms and the strike force is so good like give this team a try 50k 
on all consoles, and if you're on the Xbox, it's 25. So subscribe if you haven't already, drop the video a like, but thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care, have an amazing day, and goodbye.